Russia has both strategic and tactical nuclear weapons. So strategic nuclear weapons tend to be longer range and higher yield. Um, they're the nuclear weapons that kept the balance during the Cold War. Russia has a range of delivery options there. Um, so these could be delivered um, either via ground launch missiles uh, from the air or from submarines. And then Russia also has tactical nuclear weapons. They are the kind of nuclear weapons that we've been talking about a lot recently when it comes to the Ukraine war, because they are also referred to as battlefield nuclear weapons. So these are nuclear weapons that tend to be shorter range and lower yield. Um, but what I think is really important to keep in mind about these as well is that even though we refer to them as lower yield um, in comparison with strategic nuclear weapons, they are actually still incredibly um, destructive. So they are they are still much more destructive than the bombs that we have seen used in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So if you've got images in mind of what those cities looked like after nuclear weapons exploded there, um, any current tactical nuclear weapon would still be more powerful than that. We, we can estimate that Russia has around um, just under 3,000 tactical nuclear weapons and probably um, around sort of like 5,000 strategic nuclear weapons. Um, that's roughly a similar number to the United States. Um, so the, the two still very much are um, on par when it comes to nuclear weapons, but it's vastly more than other nuclear armed states like the United States, France or China would have. So Poseidon is um, an underwater torpedo and it, it has been hyped um, in the Russian press as being able to launch what they described as a nuclear tsunami. So the idea is that Poseidon would essentially explode off the coast of, let's say, the United States, for example, and it would then unleash a tsunami on some coastal area. So it would be incredibly devastating. Um, it would essentially be very difficult to protect the coastline from it. And um, because it's underwater, it would also be really hard to track. But just to add, you know, all of this is still entirely hypothetical. Um, we've not actually seen Poseidon be operational, and um, I think it's very far from actually being operational or even mass produced. So I don't think that this is really an option that exists at the moment. Analysts tend to worry about it in the sense that Putin might be desperate or that um, he might try to change the balance in the war in some sort of a way. Um, however, I don't think that using tactical nuclear weapons would actually be a huge benefit to him. Um, there would be immense repercussions from the international community. He currently still has quite a lot of support from both India and China, and I think both of these states would stop supporting him. And at the same time, he also has to expect that there would be some sort of a military response from the United States and or NATO um, if, if he were to use a nuclear weapon, just because we haven't seen that since 1945, and just letting that go by wouldn't really be an option. So uh, in that sense, it's in a sense, it's a losing move. And even if he were to be incredibly desperate by using a nuclear weapon, he would possibly escalate the war to a level where Russia would, would only be able to lose in the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.